This is the SML Today, and you are listening to the SML Podcast Network. Good morning, SML, and welcome to the newest podcast of the SML Network. This is the SML Today, where we will be recapping all the news that you need to know to start your day and get caught up with the SML. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is the off-season recap show, so I'm going to be recapping some of the best free agent signings, or at least some of the biggest, as well as key trades that you need to know. First and foremost, the Detroit Lions signed Tyreek Hill to a massive contract, six years, $240 million. That's the richest non-quarterback contract in SML history. Uh, I I think. I, I might be making that up. Anyways, um, in unrelated news, Tyreek Hill has been suspended for one game. The New England Patriots have signed safety Adrian Amos to a three-year deal worth $77 million. Amos is 30 years old, so this takes him through season 30, through his age 33 season. And he is a superstar, and he got a big, big payday. In offensive line news, you guys know I love offensive line, right? The New York Jets have signed Jason Kelsey to a one-year $16 million deal. You know what? I'm okay with it because, like I said in chat, he's got abilities. He's a superstar. It's a one-year deal. That's an okay deal in my eyes. Allegedly, the GOAT Tom Brady is headed to L.A. on a one-year deal worth $31.8 million. He will take over for an L.A. team who went 1-16 and last season and is looking for a rebound. They did also just sign Jameis Winston, so that's going to be uh, a bunch of money to the quarterback position. Let's hope it helps the Rams win some more games. Wide receiver Kenny Galladay has signed a two-year deal worth $23.5 million with the Las Vegas Raiders. That's going to bring in some much-needed power to that wide receiver room for Macro Penis Jones. In other offensive line news, here's a tra- uh, signing that I'm not okay with. Jack Conklin, the 29-year-old, signs a four-year deal with Seattle worth $45.8 million. Conklin is only star dev, and he's 29, so he's going to be 33 by the time he's done this deal. And you know offensive linemen, they don't dev up very often, if at all. And the last free agent signing I want to talk about today, wide receiver Will Fuller signed a three-year deal, $22 million annually, $66.9 million total for three years to go to L.A. and catch passes from Tom Brady. So suddenly this Rams team, pair them with Cooper Cup, is looking pretty scary. In trade news, a former top three pick is on the move. Quarterback Daniel Sears who was last year's number three overall pick, is being sent to Seattle, along with Grover Stewart and a third-round pick, and they got pick number nine from Seattle in last night's SML draft. The Seahawks were reportedly eyeing Sears in the draft last year, only to have the Browns take him, so one year later they get him for much less than the third overall pick, as well as they get additional assets as well. The Giants are acquiring a 22-year-old superstar linebacker, Greg Felton, from the Jets. Felton was a third-round pick last year. The Giants are sending number 18, number 50, number 58 to New York, and they are getting Cleveland's next year's first-round pick as well as Felton. A quarterback trade. The Steelers are sending quarterback Russell Wilson to Atlanta. That's right, NFC Championship participator Atlanta. In exchange, they're getting A.J. Terrell, the cornerback, and a second-year player, 95-speed wide receiver Bob Ball, in exchange for the veteran quarterback. This is a bit of a surprising move from the Falcons because their owner Dan loves or has been known to uh, be able to work with lesser quarterbacks and make it work. He he won the Super Bowl with Teddy Bridgewater. So it's an interesting move, but apparently he feels he needs a next-level quarterback to get back into that Super Bowl talk. Former All-Pro cornerback Stephon Gilmore is being sent to San Francisco along with a second-round pick next year. In exchange, Carolina is getting San Francisco's right tackle Mike McGlinchey 
and a future first and a future third. In the SML draft, quarterbacks go one, two, and three as the Browns replace Daniel Sears with Nathan Weber, the quarterback first overall. The Dolphins find their two replacement in their franchise quarterback they've been missing since they traded, traded two out last season in Trevor McDaniel at number two. And the Broncos bring in a quarterback at number three, three Theo Lewis. All three quarterbacks, however, are normal dev for the time. The first hidden dev off the board goes at number four to the Vikings in cornerback Marcus Coates. At pick number eight, the Bills have taken defensive tackle Vaughn Smith. He's a hidden dev. He's 21 years old, and he'll pair nicely sitting right there next to Ed Oliver. Quarterback number four is off the board at pick number 12 in New Orleans as they select quarterback Demarcus Bernard. He's hidden dev, so he's the only hidden dev quarterback so far taken. 23 years old, starting at a 71 overall. No surprise here is the now Tyreek Hill-less Chiefs take Shaquille Newell, the wide receiver, hidden dev at pick number 16, the first wide receiver off the board. Picks number 26 through 29 saw a run on cornerbacks as uh, the Buccaneers take Daniel Hobbs, hidden dev. The Raiders take Jacoby Hawkins. The Bears take Michael Belton. And the Patriots round out that group with Eddie Bennett, who is also hidden dev. And to close out the first round, the Ravens, the defending champions, have selected a right tackle, Spencer Davis. And that's going to about do it for the ep opening episode of SML Today and our off-season recap. What you can expect moving forward is a episode every advance, not right away. We're aiming to start every advance mid-season. There will be four hosts between myself, Prime, Dominic the Donkey, D-Muse, and uh, Jace Move, Doink Face, Smitty, Million Names guy. So keep an eye out for that. We're, again, we're shooting for mid-season for, you know, at this point, pretty much daily releases. But for every advance, we're going to have a recap out. Uh, and that's the goal, as I said, mid-season, this season, season 46. Thanks for listening and catching up on the news that you need to know. And we will see you in the next episode.